Hello everybody, I am back for another review. Even though I just finished doing The Running Man not a bit ago, not a long ago, I decided that I realized, you know what, today is February 2nd. And I realized, you know what, this could not be a better day to pick another movie that I think is a perfect film to review for this specific day. And of course, that would be Groundhog Day. <laughs> Groundhog Day is a fantasy comedy that came out back in 1993. Star, starring Bill Murray as Phil Connors, a weatherman who ultimately is sent to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania to cover the annual Groundhog Day festivities. But of course, on the way out of town, they get caught. he gets caught in a blizzard and ultimately decides to stay in town. But of course, what ends up happening is when he wakes up, he begins to relive the same day over and over again. Now what I mean is uh, it's Groundhog Day every single day for him. The, it's like as if the events, you know, started over for the for the day for the following day in a way. So, yeah, he relives the same events over and over and over again, and it literally drives him to the brink of insanity. But at the same time, he begins to you know understand the townspeople more, and he also tries to get closer to Andy McDowell's character because he realizes that to him, she is the perfect woman. So yes, honestly, Groundhog Day actually is a unique specimen of a film, even though it's not an original idea. No doubt, there's been many, uh, there's been many story. There's no doubt, a, a, at least a few stories that have been told in the past that have dealt with a person stuck in a time loop where time is repeated over and over in the same like 24-hour cycle. And of course, it wouldn't be the last. I mean, obviously, Legend of Zelda fans know. For anybody that's played Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, it's basically the three-day time loop being repeated over and over where you begin to experience the same events over that three-day period. It's pretty much, you know, I feel like Majora's Mask in a way owes a bit of its existence to Groundhog Day where you begin to relive the same events over and over. And of course you begin to predict, you know, <laughs> what's going on. So I will say, yeah, Groundhog Day is obviously the brainchild of a story, the story by Danny Rubin and, of course, the legendary and yet the great, the late great Harold Ramis, who wrote the screenplay, produced, and directed. Groundhog Day actually was a uh, successful film when it debuted back in 1993. 1993. Holy crap, this movie's 30 years old now. Wow. <laughs> 30 years old, and yet this movie is still going. I'm impressed. Yeah, the movie was a moderate hit back in 93. It actually did very well. And, of course, critics loved it. I mean, this movie is literally worshipped by fans. I mean, now, I mean, obviously, today, the, I'm sure there's a channel on TV that's doing a 24-hour marathon of this movie right now as we speak. And, of course, over time, the movie is gradually growing a huge following, and it's considered one of the not only one of the best comedies of all time, but one of the best uh, holiday-related films ever. Yeah, that's right. It's a holiday movie. So, and it's even considered one of Bill Murray's best films too. And I honestly think it is. I would definitely rank it up there with Ghostbusters and Scrooged as one of his absolute best films, literally. And, of course, obviously, this unfortunately would be the last time Bill Murray will ever work with Harold Ramis because during the production of the film, they had a really nasty falling out, and unfortunately, they did not reconcile until, oh, I don't know, sometime before Harold, before Harold Ramis tragically passed away in 2014. So almost uh, 20 years after uh, making the movie, they actually reconciled. It's sad, yes, but... Of course, uh, Bill Murray has worked with Harold Ramis many times. Uh, worked with him on Caddyshack, worked with him on Stripes, worked with him on uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, and of course, uh, this movie. I mean, Harold Ramis even appears in the film, making a small cameo as a doctor. Um, the casting is amazing. Uh, Bill Murray is great as Phil Connors. Andy McDowell is a great, does great in the movie, too. And yeah, she, she is a great sight to look at. <laughs> and she, of course, her acting is incredible. Obviously, uh, Brian Doyle Murray, Bill's brother, who has worked with him countless times in movies. They both worked on Caddyshack, Scrooge, Ghostbusters 2, you name it. 
uh, Chris Elliott. I forgot he was in there. And the movie also features the very young Michael Shannon. Yeah, long before he kind of made it big with, with films today. But uh, yeah, honestly, this movie is a lot of fun. It has a lot of great memorable moments. <laughs> Uh, some funny, some great moments too, especially the part where he hijacks the truck with the groundhog. Uh, great, uh, funny stuff. I mean, honestly, and it and like I said, this movie is unique. I mean, it definitely gives you the idea of you know what would you do if you were stuck in a time loop like this? What would you do? What what are the things you could possibly do? You would know secrets of every of every person you see, and when the time loop starts over, people forget who you are, but you don't forget. Yeah, your memory remains intact, but their memory doesn't. So with that personal knowledge, what would you do if you were stuck in a time loop like this? And honestly, like I said, that's what makes this movie so unique and so one of a kind. And that's why, honestly, for anybody that has yet to check this film out, you're definitely missing out on an interesting movie. You definitely need to give this movie a watch. Um... The film did get, uh, fortunately, because the movie, although the movie was critically praised, unfortunately it received no Oscar nominations, although it did pick up a BAFTA win for original screenplay. And uh, at the Saturn Awards, Andy McDowell was voted Best Actress. The only uh, That's the only award, unfortunately, the movie won. It was nominated for several. Harold Ramis was nominated for Best Director. The film was nominated for Best Fantasy Film. Um... Harold Ramis, I believe, lost Best Director that year to uh, Steven Spielberg for Jurassic Park. Best Fantasy Film, I believe, uh, I think The Nightmare Before Christmas won that award. I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, Bill Murray, I think, was nominated for Best Actor, but I'm trying to figure out who he lost to that year. Uh, I think he lost that year to uh, Robert Downey Jr., but I forget what I, I forget the name of the movie he won for, but I know he won... The Best Actor Award for something. You know, it's funny how I remember Robert Downey Jr. winning Best Actor that year, but I, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the movie. Kind of slipping my mind right now. Uh, anyway, uh, since I talked about the movie, let's go ahead and talk about the Blu-ray here by uh, Sony. Right now, the only Blu-ray I currently have is the 15th Anniversary Edition, which is funny because uh, since this is the 15th Anniversary, which I believe, so the movie came out in '93. So this is uh, 2008 when it came out. So, And now this is the uh, 15th anniversary of this release. Hard to believe. <laughs> How funny. Um, Sony's Blu-ray of Groundhog Day is actually not a bad one. This is actually a pretty solid release. Uh, the video quality on the disc is actually... You know, there's the Blu-ray. Uh, for those of you that have the 4K version, uh, this is the exact copy of the Blu-ray that is in the uh, 4K release, surprisingly. As you can see, uh, yeah, this is the exact same copy as in the 4K version. I'm sure the 4K version is really good, but like I said, I'm perfectly happy with this release. Uh, the video is presented in 185 by one widescreen anamorphic, and honestly, it looks good. Not perfect, but it's good. I mean, it's it's grainy looking, but there's still a lot of great detail to be seen. And honestly, this is actually one of the best presentations I've ever seen of Groundhog Day. And honestly, I'm I'm still pretty pleased. I mean, come on, for a movie made in '93, I mean, this film, yeah, it does show its age in a few areas. But honestly, this is without a doubt the best I've I've seen the film look. I know 4K is obviously way better, but like I said, not into 4K. I've never got into it. But honestly, Blu-ray still impresses me a little more. So, like I said, the picture quality on the disc, I think, actually looks no, it doesn't look too shabby. I would say out of five stars, I would actually probably give it a four out of five. The audio is presented in a multitude of uh, different tracks. You got English, French, Portuguese, and uh, honestly, the 5.1 track sounds really good. It sounds as good as the film looks. The dialogue comes out very well, and honestly, uh, <laughs> there, of course, the car, the truck explosion when he goes over the cliffside with uh, the groundhog. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. But other than that, though, uh, yeah, everything about the movie sounds really well. So out of five stars, I'd have to give it a four for the audio. As for and of course, plenty of subtitle tracks to choose from. 
Um, as for the bonus features, uh, surprisingly, Groundhog Day actually does get a nice batch of material for its 15th anniversary here. Starting off, uh, we'll get to the PIP track soon, but starting off is a commentary with director Harold Ramis as he looks back on the movie. I believe this commentary was not recorded specifically for this release. I think it was made uh, back in uh, 98 or 99 when uh, Groundhog Day got a special edition DVD release. Uh, by the way, this is the... Uh, I don't know if I had a DVD version prior to Groundhog Day. I think I think I may have until I got the Blu-ray. But uh, yeah, Harold Ramis does offer an interesting amount of information about the movie. Um, Needle Nose Ned, <laughs> yeah, the name of the character in the movie. Picture and picture track. It's basically a pop-up trivia track that uh, that plays during the movie, and it brings up. Uh, Video interviews with cast and crew as they talk about the film and, of course, brings up trivia information as, uh, as the movie plays. It's actually a fun feature, and it goes back to, you know, the interactive features that Blu-ray was capable of at the time. And honestly, this is one thing that I really wish they would start bringing back, because this is such a cool feature. It really is. A Different Day, which is an interview with Harold Ramis. It's a brand new interview that he recorded, I think, specifically for this release. And it's him looking back on Groundhog Day. <clears throat> in any way he uh in, in what he honestly remembers about the film uh the funny thing is this is the only feature that is actually in high def unlike the standard definition that uh most of the other stuff is the weight of time documentary it's basically a making of that runs about 25 minutes and it's a nice little making of about the making of the movie interviews with the many of the cast and crew members they talk about the experience they had on the film Study of Groundhogs, a real-life look at marmots, which I think is a, I think it's a nature documentary about looking at groundhogs. And deleted scenes. It's funny, the theatrical, why is there no theatrical trailer? It probably is on the Blu-ray. There, there should be. I don't know why there's, I don't know why there's not one included here. But honestly, though, uh, this is actually a not, this is actually a pretty decent uh, batch of material to weave through on the making of the film. I would say out of five stars, now, it looks like there's not really a lot here, but again, it's all about quality over quantity. And the quality of these extras are very good. I would say out of five stars, it gets a solid four. So, definitely a great supplemental package. All in all, this is actually a well-rounded out Blu-ray release for Groundhog Day. The, uh, the video, yeah, there's the, there's, there goes the clock again. <laughs> it's playing Jingle Bells. Surprising we still have that Christmas clock up, even though it's uh, February now. But still, it's actually, like I said, Groundhog Day. If you haven't had a chance to watch this movie, you need to, you need to check it out. Whether you want to go for the Blu-ray or watch it on 4K, or if you uh, decide to turn the TV on, I think there's a channel on there that will be playing the film 24-7. So, so I know they're trying to do the same thing like what uh, Christmas Story did. Christmas Story has been doing the 24 hour they've been doing the 24 hour marathon for that movie every year for like the last 20 25 years give or take more or less. Uh, Groundhog Day uh, apparently I I've, I've been I've kind of learned about this recently. I feel like I've been living under a rock, but you know what? I mean, either way, I don't need to watch it 24 hours straight since I already got the Blu-ray. I'm perfectly happy with this. Like I said, for anybody that owned the 4K version, um uh, the 15th anniversary Blu-ray, like I said, that copy is exactly the same in here as it is in that one. So, honestly, the 4K version, I'm sure it's better, but I just have no interest in getting the 4K version. I don't. I'm perfectly happy with this release here. But, for those of you that have yet to see the movie, it's a definite must-see. It's a lot of fun. There are many great moments, but like I said, the, mo the, the best thing I like about this movie is the concept. Of living in a time loop where time repeats over and over and it restarts every single day. It would drive you insane, yes. But eventually over time, you grow to it, you learn to adapt to it. And you begin to learn things about the people you're interacting with. And also knowing that in the end, your con your actions don't mean anything because the next day. Life <laughs> the day repeats itself, so you can do whatever you want in that day period. So it does kind of make you feel like an immortal, <laughs> almost. Overall, it's a great concept, 
And it's a warship, it's a very warshipped movie. And even the town of Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania has become famous thanks to this movie. Heck, even my parents went there uh, at least a couple of times. And uh, they've even brought back some memorabilia. And like I said, you have no idea how big of a movie this really is. Especially for people that have yet to, under, have yet to get into this movie. So I would say yes, definitely watch it. Definitely worth watching. So... This concludes the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will continue to do more videos in the days to come. And if you like this, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe to my channel. And don't worry, like I said, I will do more in the days to come. So until then, everybody take care, be safe, have a great Groundhog Day, and hopefully this year, and hopefully he doesn't see a shadow, so hopefully we won't be experiencing six more weeks of winter. Or maybe we will. Who knows? Until then, take care and be safe.